people are really after. Find like, let's say the top three things that you've seen for those 24 hours. Start buying those for as cheap as you can get it. Ask those, even ask those people that are wanting to buy, say, well, how much are you offering? Find out what the general average is of what they're offering and raise it up a little bit, of course. Try to maximize your profit. Mm -hmm. But after you found, and say, your top three items that you know are really pushing right now and people are really after, hit that trade the next 24 hours to 48 hours and buy as much of that as you can for as cheap as you can. And then even if you want to, I mean, even if you want to try and stretch it out a little bit more, add those people that you knew the day previous were buying and see if they're still looking for it. That way you already have buyers for it. And if not, if none of those are buying, you know they're popular, you know people are still after it. That way you have the items you know are hot and you've already got them so you can sell them quickly. So like I said, just find the ones that you know are worth it, buy them up as quickly as possible or as cheap as possible, and then just double your profit right there. Yep, yep. Any that last words, Mixy? Smaller tips, and this one's a lot, it's a lot quicker. Never buy anything for market value. Never. Never. Whatever the average is, because we talked about how most of us look for averages of some sort, in some way, shape, or form. Never buy that. Never pay that much for the item. Ever. Because if worse comes to worse and you can't unload something simply because the market's bad and you have sat on it for a couple of weeks, that means you can probably sell it at market value and still turn a profit. Yeah, exactly. Never never buy a market price. Never. The only only instance that I would actually say where that could be almost a bad idea is on things like let's say for instance the arcane helms even though a lot of people have them if it's an item that you know is no longer available in the game and there is a scarce amount of them if you can get it for market price and you have patience to sit on an item go ahead and buy it at market price if you can't find it any cheaper but i wouldn't say buy it immediately at market price give it a day or two to see if you could find that good deal if not and you know they're that scarce of an item, buy it at market value, sit on it for a few weeks to a month, maybe even two months, and I guarantee you, since they're not sold anymore in the game, you're going to make a profit of it. You yeah, may have to wait on that profit, but you're still going to make it. Exclusives are one exception. Like yeah. If you're sitting on something that's in the game and will still be in the game for a couple of weeks, more and more people are going to get it as the game progresses. So after about two and a half weeks, if you can't get a higher price, go for market value because eventually market value will go down but like you said with exclusive the, it only goes up price only goes up with exclusive as time goes on it only goes up yeah so if you can get those cheap or even at market value it's a good deal yep i would say everything everything has been covered with great great advice i think the last thing i want to leave people with is a tip that I wasn't going to give out because not a lot of people take advantage of it or even know about it. But I figured, you know, go big or go home. So I'm going to give out the last piece of advice here. Depending on where you live at and what time of the day you're able to play, more or less people will be logged on in that region. So if you're not aware of this, if you go up to the options menu, you can actually change what region you're, you're in. And depending on what region you're in, it'll sh your, your recruiting channel and your trading channel will change. So the members that are in there, the people that are logged in under those channels will change. So let's say you're a player that wakes up in the morning and you're on the west side. You, let's say you play from, I don't know, 7 to 10 for whatever reason, those are your hours. Then playing with other people on the west at those times wouldn't probably be good for you. Because the amount of people that are going to be logged on at that time are going to be a lot less, right? So you want to try and get a bigger audience so I would change it over to Europe or I would change it to uh, North America East where there will be more people that are going to be on at that time consequently if there's less people logged on chances are they'll be willing to buy for more because there'll be a less of a market for the items that people are buying and selling in the trade chat so try and jump around I do it often I'll, I'll do uh, I'll jump on a, a, a channel and if it's not if I'm not trying to if I'm trying to sell something and it's not selling, or if I'm trying to buy certain items and I don't like what's being posted, because a lot of people just copy and paste what they're trying to sell, I'll just switch to a different region and I'll try my luck there until I'm done with all of my trades. And then once I'm done, then the next day is start unloading everything I bought. But yeah, it's a big one right there for region. You guys use the region chat a lot? 
Today was the Regen first time that I found that you can actually change it. So now. <laughs> oh wow! Okay, so there. Hey, but, but I do change region. Cool. So there's something you, you just learned. That's awesome. See, oh, it's always good to be trading uh, trade tips there. Exactly. And I'm gonna leave everybody with the my 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 ultimate weapon. I let everybody in the clan know today. This is the ultimate weapon, and this will guarantee you profit. It. When you're buying, if you're an avid gamer and you still you like to stay up to a couple hours into the past midnight, your best bet when you're buying is to wait past midnight when most Americans and Canadians and stuff go to bed and buy wait till the foreigner people in the other countries get on and start buying from them. They usually sell a lot cheaper than Americans. They're a lot easier to haggle with. They're generally friendlier too. Uh, and then when you get on the next day, when you, um, most Americans are on during the day, that's when you sell. Because it's a proven fact, I've proven this time and time again in every market that I've ever hit in any game. Americans buy and sell high, and foreigners usually sell low and buy low. So your best bet is buy late, sell early. There you go. Yeah, that it works so good. All right, well, I think we pretty much exhausted all of our uh, information. Oh, there's a, a couple gold nuggets that we're, we're keeping to ourselves, but uh, yeah. we'll keep that for, for a later time. Uh, thanks a lot, guys. Um, thanks, Rogue and, and Schmexy, for being on the show tonight. Thank you. And uh, we'll see you next time, guys. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Caleb with 10 We'll catch you next time.